Okay, hi everyone, here's a new critique. This is for a Michael Garner. Uh, what he says is, hi Dom. He didn't say Mr. Dom. Oh, he's going to get a horse critique now. Uh, I'm, a, I'm 19, semi-pro. I've been following your updates and blogs on YouTube for a good year. Um, I live in the USA and I'm taking a big step towards my photography. Uh, oh, first picture up. Uh, in getting a Nikon D300S, 50mm f1.8 and the 2470 f2.8 by next fall. I've only used a point and shoot and really tr and really tired of them, but the Nikon Coolpix L110 is a decent camera even for a point and shoot. It has good bokeh at 3.5 and, and ISO 800. I'm not going through the five year plan because I'm comfortable with what. I know about digital SLRs. Don't quite understand that. I would like you to critique some of my pictures, even though I've only a point and shoot. Uh, I do give you the right to use them. Thank you. The picture of the turtle shell is my favourite because. Okay, so you're saying you're a semi pro, you're 19, uh, and. But you say here, I'm not going through the five year plan because I'm comfortable with what I know. Uh, okay, so you're just going straight into the D300S, um, but you're a semi-pro, and you're using a point and shoot at the moment. And the first picture you sent me is a side picture, square side picture of a dog. Uh, um, which uh, is, is really just a picture, a side picture of a dog. Uh, there's huge chromatic aberration, there's a sofa in the background, there's pillows in the background, the dog isn't very sharp, um, the lighting on the dog is completely changing from blue by the nose to orange by the eye, white balance is kind of going crazy or whatever lighting that's coming in, it looks like he's just looking out the window. Uh, that really is just a snapshot of a dog where you don't even see his nose. It's a profile shot. Um, it that one hundred percent looks like a point and shoot photo. Uh, I'm not seeing much bokeh or interesting kind of blurriness of the background because you can clearly see pillows and crap in the background. Okay, next one. Now this one looks a good bit better. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that looks like a helmet that has been left uh, on on a beach or something that has been shot, uh, but it's actually a turtle's uh, helmet. Okay, that, that's quite cool. Um, and yet the background is nice and blurry enough for you to just tell that yes it's somewhere near a beach it would take you a wee while to really see that that is actually a turtle thing if you hadn't told me because this random thing I would have pulled this out uh, that looks like a wire coming out the ground I would have just pulled that out before I took the photo um, just so it wasn't being the random wire sticking out of the turtle shell uh, also you can tell you you've shot it at what is a slight wonky angle, and that I don't think slight wonky angles ever work. You either give it a proper tilt, or you have it dead on the street. Having it 10, 15 degrees, I've always found that it just looks like somebody wasn't really paying attention. So I have it straight on, or you go for a proper Dutch angle, and you get it there. But uh, in terms of exposure-wise, some like, yeah, that looks, that looks fine. Uh, it is quite a bit of a, again, you've gone really for this square shot. Um, I wonder where that, that is. I wonder what your idea behind that one is. Uh, but, again, it's a picture of a turtle shell. I'm not finding it that interesting. Oh, actually, no, I am. Uh, I'm finding the fact that the shell is totally broken. It's like, where is the shell? But, no, it's just... Um, uh, like, if I was looking through the a website of all these photos, I'd totally flick past that one. Uh, it doesn't grab my attention. It's just a muddy ground with a random thing with a hole in it. Um, no, it, it, it would need to be more interesting to really grab my attention. Next one. Okay, the next shot you've sent me is another picture of your dog. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not interested in seeing pictures of your dog. Uh, these aren't interesting. Uh, and if you're saying you're semi-pro, these are not in any way showing your... It's almost like this is like a trick. Like you're saying, I'm a semi-pro, look at my photos. And I'm meant to kind of go, oh yeah, it's very professional. 
No, no, there, there's... I think you've sent me the wrong photos. That's all I can think. Uh, okay, this next one is... It's a shot of a beach with some stones on it. But uh, I'm, I'm not seeing anything of interest in this photo. Uh, colours are fine, but they're not really kind of saturated, they're not really punchy, they're not really kind of bring my attention to anything. There's no kind of leading lines of interest, like something that would like bring my attention to something of interest in the picture. Uh, the stones aren't of any there's nothing really interesting or contrasty or uh, eye-catching about the stones. This really is just a picture of some stones on a beach. So again, uh, for somebody who's, who's saying that they're semi-pro, I, I just definitely read that, that that's exactly what you said. I'm 19 semi-pro. Um, okay, pl please send me your pro images. Th th these are just snapshots that you've taken. Th that, that's just a beach with nothing interesting on it. Uh, get 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 me your get me your pro shots. Uh, maybe your next one. Love your pro shot. And uh, your last shot is a a nice big picture of a nice tree in fall time, where you've got a bit of the sun pretty much directly behind the tree. Uh, you've got these kind of great colours of this uh, very much yellow leaves, um, reddish ground here. But uh, you can definitely tell this is a a point and shoot camera or something where it's a bit. Because like you're getting this massive purple fringing um, all over here, it's just it's just a mess. Um, that that's chromatic aberration. That's high contrast areas which are suffering from poor lens or poor sensor. Um, yeah, it's, it's exposed fairly well. Uh, you see all the details in the tree. It looks, looks looks nice, but again, it's we're not really seeing anything. Like it, it's just a picture of a tree. Uh, like the shadow just kind of stops there. It's not like you've got a kind of idea of the big shadow coming straight towards you and the top is also not in the picture either. Um, so again it's just not an interesting picture here. Uh, again so if, if this is on a photography website where you can see lots of different people's pictures there's not a chance that I would actually click oh I want to look at that one. So um, yeah, get the D300, get the 50 f1.8 and the 24 to 70, and really start working on really working on your composition, your l leading lines, your objects of interest, your your thirds, your getting everything in the frame. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to uh, really work on here. Uh, but I, I'm really getting the feeling that you've just sent me the wrong images. Uh, if, if you're claiming you're a semi-pro, and yet you're happy with your your point and shoot. Um, yet, so far from the images that you've sent me, I haven't seen any that have actually been interesting or worthy of claim saying that you're semi-pro. Uh, maybe you are, but can you send me those pictures that you've actually done which are of that claim? Uh, yeah, definitely. S send me them again. S send me the correct ones next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.